Hey what's going on guys welcome for another video to my KNX here for the another video and today I'm gonna show you how to create amazing environments this is the second part where we're gonna do the color correction and to add that simple details to create amazing artwork all right guys if you didn't saw the first part of this tutorial go check it out where we created this environment in blender and you're gonna learn a lot of good stuff for you to add to your projects all right and for the people that didn't saw that first part don't worry you can move along with this tutorial because i have in my patreon page the psd file basically the photoshop file for you guys to keep it up with this uh, tutorial all right guys so basically today we're gonna go to photoshop because it's uh, one of the best platforms to color correct and to add that simple details and it's very easy to create that all right guys so today we're gonna do that and i hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe the channel we are almost reaching the 1000 subs that's really cool guys let's go almost there and with no further ado let's go to photoshop all right guys here we are in photoshop and let's start this tutorial the first thing that we're gonna do is to color correct this image it's very easy i always use this filter that it's really useful basically you go over here and click in camera raw filter but first let's click ctrl j to duplicate this image now let's just deselect this one and let's do and add this camera raw filter all right this is basically uh, a filter inside photoshop this is very easy to use and very useful to add that brightness and that uh, color to your scene all right guys now we can see that our scene needs a little bit of work so let's go and do that the first thing that we're gonna do is go over here to our temperature and exposure and let's just turn this up first thing let's just change a little bit this temperature to something like that all right guys don't forget that this will be in the patreon page for you guys to download the psd file and to keep it up with this tutorial all right guys now we have a little bit of a greenish tone with a yellow temperature it's looking pretty good and now now let's just change the exposure to something like that all right and a little bit of contrast just to give it a little bit of clarity and now the highlights a little bit you can see over here what is going on and now the shadows just a little bit down the whites we can leave it there and the blacks are really cool right now let's change the clarity to a little bit over here because the clarity it's basically where you can change if you want to your uh, image to have a lot of details in your uh, image or if you want a little blurry image basically if i go over here you can see that it's a little bit blurry but over here you can see that now we have a lot of clarity and the texture is basically that same thing basically if we change the texture to a little bit down you have a lot of blur and a little bit up we have a lot of details in our scene and let's do that let's just add a little bit the clarity is basically the exposure with the texture all right guys so just a little bit just like that and now let's bring the saturation a little bit up now we are giving some life to our scene just like that and that's literally everything that we need to do all right we if you want you can try it and add some presets we have a lot of presets to try it if you didn't know nothing about the camera raw filter here is some presets that you can try and change everything that you want all right guys we're gonna use this image you can see it by clicking over here to toggle to the default settings basically this is how it was and now this is our color correction it's looking pretty good all right so now we have color correct our image but you can see that there's a little bit of strange things going on so let's add here by clicking over here in these filters let's add a hue and saturation basically let's change the hue to little gr green something like that and let's bring the saturation a little bit down just like that all right now we have a really cool scene going on we can bring this down a little bit more let's see just a little bit just like that all right now we have our simple scene almost created and now it's the time to add your creativity basically in this artwork i uh, have added a little bit of smoke so let's add that by clicking here to add a new layer and in this new layer 
let's call it brush or smoke yeah let's call it smoke it's better let's call it smoke just like that and now let's go over here to our brush tool just like that and you can toggle the size of your brush by clicking alt and the right side of your uh, mouse just like that you can toggle it just bring it up the diameter or bring it down just like that all right guys so now we have uh, a brush i'm not using a tablet to create this so this is basically we're gonna use uh, the mouse to create everything but if, if you have a tablet you can use it to create this kind of stuff first thing let's click x and you can see that we have toggle over here the white the black to the white basically by clicking x you can see what is going on over here you can do the same thing by clicking over here and switch now we have the the white and let's use it to create that smoke basically over here let's just add a little bit of smoke just right over here all right now we have the smoke it's too much brighter so let's go over here to the opacity and bring this down a little bit just like that i think it's looking pretty good and what i have done in the main scene is i basically added a solid color just like that and what i have just changed the color of this solid to something to something to be more equal to our scene something like this color over here and now we, we have this color this solid and by clicking alt in the middle of the smoke layer and the color basically this color over here we can just link to our smoke and now you can you can see a little bit but if we bring the, the opacity of our smoke probably you will see it now you can see that we are just uh, uh, using the same color just to be more in our scene just like that all right and you can go and just uh, zoom in and just uh, remove over here the smoke by clicking here to add a mask and just toggle over here to your brush and then with the black selected you can go and just remove where you don't want the smoke you can see right there that i'm just removing the smoke from the parts that i don't want if you have a tablet this is more easy to create but i'm here uh, teaching for everyone so everyone can do this thing by using just a mouse so that's why i'm using a mouse all right guys so basically now we have removed it from our object and we are giving a little bit of that to our smoke all right guys now we have added our smoke we can do a lot of good stuff if you want you can go to google and search a lot of image or textures to add to your project so basically a really cool texture to use is this one the film dust I will add it to my patreon page for you guys to try it all right but if you don't want to become a patron of this channel and if you don't want to support the channel don't worry you can uh, uh, search for this image in google and just uh, download it and use it to your projects all right guys so right now let's just bring this image over here and this will add a new layer just like that a film dust and let's just scale this if you want to only scale one side you can click shift and scale it just like that all right let's just bring this a little bit down all right now we have the perfect scale now let's just bring the opacity just like that and you can do a, a really cool thing by just going over here and change the blend mode to screen and basically the screen will remove every black that you have in your uh, image and now we can change the opacity to something like uh, i don't know something like 20 just work with uh, these values and try to reach a really good level and this is literally the part that you can use your own creativity where you can create your own project by just editing in a different way all right guys now i'm adding this film dust and let's go and add here these birds because in the main project i have added some birds in the main project i have used a brush to create it but i think that uh, if we use an image i will teach you more stuff to how to use photoshop so basically we're gonna use an image let's go and just bring this image over here all right and now the first thing that we need to do is to remove that white basically here we change the blend mode to screen so 
the opposite of the screen it's the multiply so if we change to multiply or to darken we can remove every white that we have in our scene and if this didn't work you can go and click two times in your image and a window will appear and you can go over here and change some stuff by going over here and click out and just removing that part you can see right now that we have this part over here that it's some uh, blacks that did come uh, with the image so if we click out we're gonna bring this apart and just bring this over just like that and we can just remove that simple parts over this image all right so basically now we have a lot of birds we don't want that and we can change the size of these birds just a little bit something like that all right let's go and add here a mask all right guys basically we're gonna use this mask to just remove some birds of this image because we don't want a lot so by clicking b you can toggle to the brush tool all right and with the black selected we can go and just remove a little bit of these birds just like that all right and now we can go and just bring the opacity a little bit down just to blend with the scene and now we can see our image ready all right you can do a really cool thing by clicking ctrl shift alt e to just add another layer with everything blending just like that just one layer with everything that we have done and if you want you can go to your projects and just add a, a more stuff to them and just go and try it and just have a really good time creating this image and trying new stuff in this artwork that's why i'm creating this tutorial for you guys is for you to use your creativity and add these simple things that i have teach you to your projects all right guys so don't forget that this was a simple color correction for you guys to learn a little bit about how to create environments and how to color correct them and then add a little bit of details so i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy don't forget to give a like follow me on my instagram account knx underscore underscore official there you're gonna have a lot of good stuff to see basically all the artworks that i do will go first to instagram and then we'll go to youtube all right guys so if you want to see in first hand the projects go follow me on instagram or, or become a patreon all right guys to have all the blend files all the projects that i have done and this project too all right guys so basically every single image that we have used here in this project will be in my patreon page all right guys so if you want to become a patron just go there and in my patron page and become a patron and it will be provided to you every single thing that you want models and stuff like that will be there for you to download all right guys so don't forget to subscribe as i have said in the beginning of this video we are almost reaching the 1000 subs it's almost there guys so don't forget to subscribe guys and i see you in the next video bye <laughs>